Hello YouTube, so today we are going to be replacing the hard drive in this HP laptop with a Samsung SSD drive. And to do this we will need a screwdriver as there are many screws which we will have to take off for this specific computer. The model of this computer is the HP TPN C125. Other computers may have the same but for this computer we have to basically take the back off of the computer so I recommend getting a plastic box to put the screws into and you can see we just have to take all the screws off there are also screws under these plastic feet and we could just remove those as well the plastic feet are held by adhesive so we could just stick them back on later when we put the computer back together and you can see the computer is held in by plastic clips so once we take those off the back should just pop off and also we have to slide out the DVD drive and there was a screw that I forgot take that off as well and without the back the computer is revealed to have the hard drive the RAM and the processor available for access so to take out the hard drive we have to just unscrew some more screws and the hard drive is held in by a bracket and there's also a SATA cable which we have to take off. So these are the screws we have to take off. So we just unscrew the screws. This hard drive is a 500 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive. It's a 5200 IP, uh, RPM drive and that compares to the 860 EVO SSD which is also 500 gigabytes. So it's the same capacity but it is much faster. So what you're seeing is I'm just taking off the brackets of the hard drive and just swapping them around to the SSD drive. Also be aware of which hard drive bracket is the left one and which one is the right one. Uh, that just so the SSD would go in the right side up. And you can see I put everything back in place. The SSD just plugs in where the hard drive used to be. And now I could just screw it back in using the exact same screws. And now I could just pop on the back of the computer, slide in the DVD drive, and replace the screws as well as the rubber feet. I replace every single screw, making sure they go in the proper places. So now everything's back together, we could install Windows from a USB flash drive. It's just a normal Windows 10 installation, and it should just install to the computer. This footage is sped up, though the SSD drive is fast. The computer is still installing from a USB 2.0 flash drive, so you are still limited by that speed. And we can just install Windows, it reboots, and we could just set it up as one normally would. And this is just normal Windows installation. So now the computer is installed and it's ready to be used. The SSD drive should be faster than the hard drive that was in there, but this is not my computer, so I couldn't really do very much testing on it as I had to give it back to its owner pretty much immediately after 